go I feel that which concerns you whatever is outstanding your weakness God will perfect it and he will preserve you for his heavenly kingdom and you know we all have to emulate good things we have to whatever is a good example we have to follow it this sister going by his her testimony we will have discovered that she is following what we are doing and she is cautioning her life according to all the teachings and she has been preaching the gospel everywhere and her children are preaching all those children are preaching all of them are preaching I said the small one that is just young we we'll see them on the street preaching and um, in line with our message the first message preached in this church is do the will of God and prosper now if you are not following that principle you might be lagging behind I want to let you know if you want to make it in this church you must follow that message do the will of God and prosper honestly if you are doing the will of God in this church you will definitely or you will surely prosper there is no two way about it not just are you prosper in one aspect you will prosper spiritually physically materially financially it will make heaven at last so my advice is let us change our approach it will not be the best thing that you say you are serving God but your children are nowhere they are all doing what they like your husband is not serving God. Your wife is nowhere. You say you are serving God, you are not bearing any fruit. Nobody around you is hearing the word of God from you. Nobody around you is becoming born again. Nobody around you is affected by your lifestyle. If that happens, we have to question your salvation your salvation is listen our salvation is a spiritual thing and it's like it's it's, it's like a light once you have the light members of your family people around you will be affected even your friends at first instance they will persecute you they will test you they will prove you after some time they will follow you and once you are born again you are going to suffer uh, persecution trials uh, little hardship challenges once you conquer it God will bless you so the problem we have in this end time is coming to church for money for healing for deliverance for children only what well, that's wrong we say seek ye first the kingdom of god according to matthew chapter 6 verse 3 seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things is not a lie it's truth is truth and all these things shall be added unto you but the unfortunate situation 
is that people are seeking those things that are last first and so they suffer so much and they get at nothing but if the case is seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness oh my God everybody will have want to do work with you everybody will who is looking for who love God even those who doesn't love God when they see your lifestyle they will be touched they will be provoked to repent they want to follow you to church so my prayer is that having had this testimony and every one of you that had this testimony will be provoked to serve God with all your being. Because sometimes we listen to testimony like a music. But the best thing in testimony is to know why things, those things are the way it is. And if you listen to that testimony, she said, according to the message, eh, do the will of God and prosper. So which means she's holding that message since 2002 20 years ago that was the first message do the will of God and prosper and all the generation of chosen who join us to do the will of God I want to let you know most of them are blessed almost all of them and the church also also looking at what is happening in the church all over the world you can say that the church is blessed by what we are seeing a multitude of people and which cause a lot of commotion everywhere and I want to let you know commotion in the sense that people many places were closing trouble because everybody is going to choose now if we must continue to have greater revival everybody must go back. Let me tell you, brethren, God is in the Lord chosen. Are you hearing me? When you have serious challenge, hmm? instead of you fighting that battle, take it to the God of chosen. You may not even ask Pastor to pray. What you need to do is um, I don't know how many of you who remember the testimony of that sister who had liver problem, uh, liver, liver damage, and was smelling and was uh, uh, swollen and was almost dead. And all the doctors has given up. I don't know how many of you remember. That was in the last crusade. Now, when she came in her morning devotion, we are all there praying and she came there and was smelling everyone was running away where she was sitting she was she was so terrible um, while I was moderating the morning devotion angel opened her eye because she couldn't be able to sit she laid down and 
Why she lay down, she fall into a trance. And then she saw the pulpit change like a snow. Snow like cloud over the pulpit. And then a man walked out of that snow full of glory and power and came straight where she was lying down and stretched hands and he held her he said uh, sister where have you been I've been looking for you and they were looking at to know the man he couldn't be able to know the man but she remember why they are bringing her in she saw a poster of a man in the in the billboard she remember ah this is the pastor of the Lord Jesus and then he says all your problem all those things are what over you are free and he went back and she, she came back to consciousness she stood up immediately the whole thing disappeared Praise the Lord. That was a testimony of what happened our last month. She gave us the testimony on Sunday. God is here. Are you hearing me? Whether I come to you, touch you, pray for you, see you or not, God is here. When you have serious challenge, run to this altar. If it's a serious battle, if you have any money, whether five naira or ten naira or hundred naira, sue that person. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? That enemy that is too appear that two terrible and killing people say I sue you with this money in the altar of God <laughs> go and sleep go and do what sleep. don't pray over it again <laughs> do you hear what I say it will take over from you. You will deal with that enemy to repentance. If you fail to repent, there will be trouble. Do you hear me? Sue them. Stop being afraid. Stop panicking. Stop running up and down. Sue them and rest. Do you hear what I said? Um, when you sue them instead of praying start thanking God and go out and do the work of God leave that fight it's not for you you can't fight these people but God whom I serve will fight for you I know that it is not good to say spend your money to sue them, but I think it will connect you. That's why I say, otherwise, I'm not, I'm not looking for your money, but I just want to know what you will do and see immediate sign. Not that God looking for money, but it's like a covenant. Say, so I sue you, and you will see wonders. So don't struggle again. Don't struggle. Don't, don't even say I'm praying, I'm praying. Rest your faith and confidence in this God. It's too powerful. In fact, God we are serving here. I pray that God open your eyes. It's too powerful. In fact, in fact, there has not been a place like this. Sorry, not because I'm talking. It's truth. You can check. You can go around. There has not been a place like this. 
So, if I were you, I would serve him with all my heart. Because I know he will do it for me. Because it's good to have a good knowledge. I know, I know he will do it. Come rain, come sun, come no matter the I know. No matter the situation, he will do it. It's just a, he can do it today. He might decide anytime, but it must do it. So thank God for that sister. She has understanding. It's good to have knowledge. The Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It's good to have knowledge. When you have knowledge, eh, you will do exploit. Praise the Lord. So don't ever struggling and fighting with the demons and oh, you can't see them. All those that belong to them, eh, don't see. They are not fighting you. They only, uh, you know, make a projection, and those demons will attack you. But when you sue them, eh, you will see war. You will be a spectator. You will not fight. You will see what will happen to your enemy. You will even be telling your enemy, repentance is the key. Praise the Lord. May God bless you as you do the will of God and prosper in Jesus' name.